No, thank you very much. Chair, at this time, calls Morgan Craven. So what you're getting now is just a policy brief and my written testimony. My name is Morgan Craven. I'm the National Director of Policy for the Intercultural Development Research Association. I'm testifying for HB 851 on behalf of the Texas Latino Education Coalition, which is a collaborative of organizations and individuals who advocate for the rights of Latino students at the local, state, and national levels. Um, so my testimony today focuses on the benefits of IGCs um, specifically, but there are other measures that we support uh, related to the hearing today, uh, what was discussed in the hearing today, and those are listed in my written testimony. Um, I want to share just a little bit of research about IGCs, which we know have greatly improved opportunities to graduate, particularly for students of color and low-income students. Um, as was discussed, 11th and 12th grade students who do not pass one or two of the end of course exams may instead just demonstrate subject matter proficiency through an evaluation by an individual graduation committee. And contrary to what some people would believe, um, IGCs are not simply passing unqualified students. They are doing um, arguably a more thorough evaluation of the student's mastery of a particular subject. Um, just to share two data points, um, we know that the vast majority of IGC graduates failed uh, the two end of course exams that are not required by testing for testing by the federal government, and that's English two and U.S. history. Um, of the IGC graduates failing uh, one high school exit exam, we know that 88 percent failed either English two or U.S. history. Um, in addition of the 4,510 students failing two EOC exams, fewer than 1% failed a combination of exams that did not include either English II or U.S. history. Um, we also know from data that IGCs uh, benefit students of color um, and students from low-income families, and you do have a chart here in, uh, in the written testimony that shows that 17% of IGC graduates are black children, 68% uh, are Latino, and 76% um, are economically disadvantaged. These students are hardworking, they have high expectations for themselves and they have dreams of contributing to their communities and they can do that by obtaining a high school diploma through an individual graduation committee. Um, and just to wrap up, uh, to be clear, TLEC does not support the elimination of standardized testing. We understand that standardized testing, when valid and reliable, provides important information for students, parents, and schools. Um, however, Texas has relied too extensively on flawed testing strategies that waste tax dollars. So we urge um, the state to move forward with evaluation systems like IGCs um, and pass through House Bill 851 to make them permanent. Thank you. Senator? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, any questions, members, for Ms. Craven? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I was just looking at your chart on page three about uh, failure by subject or by exam yes. in English to being such a large majority of that, uh, of those failures. Is, do you happen to know, or perhaps the or Chairman Huberty, about why English two is, seems to be such a stumbling block? I don't have uh, that information about why that um, comprises such a huge percent of uh, of the failures. I don't know if the chairman does, but I'm okay. happy to get back to your office about that. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Any other questions for Ms. Craven? Not hearing any Ms. Cravens. Thank you for being Thank here. Thank you. Chair, this time calls Michelle Cavazos. Michelle Cavazos, is she present? Well, she seems to not be present. She will be shown as four. House Bill 851. Is there anyone else here who wishes to testify on, for, or against House Bill 851? Not hearing any, the chair recognizes Representative Hubert to close on his House Bill. 